Vulcan.js stream. If, uh, if you're uh, watching, just come say hello in the Twitch chat room, as always, just so I can know uh, who's hanging out around here. Um, today, I thought I would uh, keep working on my current project, which is building a, a website similar to Airbnb with Vulkan. So uh, yesterday, I actually used the CLI tool to scaffold a new Vulkan uh, app with a new custom package. And it worked really well, but now we have uh, to do some cleanup, I think. And also get our app uh, back into running shape. So right now it's trying, uh, it's throwing some errors because uh, it says custom is not defined. So actually when you, um, when you create a new schema, you can mention custom as a type, but you then have to manually replace this. So um, let's find my project. Um, let's find my custom package right here, Zen's room. And now here we probably yeah, have custom here, so these should all be dates. Okay, let's see. Um, do we have any dates here? No. What about here? Uh, nope. So, okay, actually, this might get our app back up. Yep. So now that we have uh, fixed this error, what's next? Well, hmm. Probably want to get rid of some stuff in there. Uh, so this is again created by the scaffolding tool. For now, though, we don't actually need custom mutations or custom resolvers. Um, we might need custom, yeah, we probably need the permissions, uh, but in the, the latest version of Vulkan, admins just can do every action, so we don't need to specify these either. So we can keep it like this, uh, and then we'll do the same thing for the other models. We can delete the resolvers, um, remove this, you know, I'm always just looking to simplify things, so this is why uh, I decided that admins should just be able to do all actions, and that's also why we have these uh, these default resolvers now and mutations. And let's import these two functions. So the reason why I'm passing a reviews to the function is because that will be like replaced in the name of the resolvers, in the name of the mutations, and so on. So we do need to pass this. Um, so we can get rid of this. I'm just going to copy this over here and here, and then. Now I think today I'm probably gonna focus on the uh, properties collection. Okay, good. Because if we're bu building an Airbnb type site, that's that's the main thing, right? We want people to be able to search through properties. Uh, I did mention I wasn't sure about the name properties. Like, I wonder if there's any way to find out what Airbnb calls their uh, their their objects. Do they call them properties or maybe homes? Um, or rooms, actually, I guess. Their uh, internal name for the, the model seems to be rooms. Um, I wonder if that would be better. Because, you know, properties, the problem is you, you might, you know, it gets confusing, like, uh, like the, the name property on the property collection or something like that. So 
Yeah, we can probably rename this to rooms. And then inside this change. Uh, and, you know, we can always change it to something else later, but I think it's probably good to uh, to change it. So, okay. We're not using any of this for now anyway. Um, yeah, see, this would get confusing right away. So, okay. And then of course here we'll change this and that. Cool, now, uh, yeah. Cool, okay, so now the question is, um, how do we display a list of rooms and also how do we insert a new room? So for that, I think uh, the easiest way is to just copy the movies example uh, code because it already has all the required pieces. So movies new form is gonna become rooms new form Yeah, I don't know if we should keep using JSX. I guess for now, let's just do that. Because, uh, yeah, we could also use just .js. Maybe that's easier. It's probably easier, I don't know. I'm always uh, going back and forth on naming and, and it doesn't really impact much but in the long term you know it's always good to have a consistent naming scheme and not only consistent internally but consistent with the rest of the ecosystem and, and i do feel like people are going away from the jsx extension towards just plain js so uh, we might as well you know and so we'll probably need to change it <coughs> Sorry, in here as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put this below. Um, so we have rooms list, rooms item, rooms edit form, and rooms new form. Cool, so um, here I'm just importing the components because uh, when I'm using them, well, I guess, yeah. So you kind of have a choice actually. You can, um, you can either uh, use register a component and register a component globally, or you can use the regular, um, you know, export default syntax. And both work. Um, the difference is if you want to make your components uh, overridable by another package, for example, a typical example would be you're building a theme for Vulkan, then you'll want to use register component. But in this case, I'm building a, a self-contained project, so it might not be necessary. Uh, it might be more, uh, you know, maybe a better practice to use just export default because uh, it might make it easier if people want to port this to a different stack in the future. You never know if you want to take your React frontend and port it to a different project. So I guess for now we won't use uh, register this, register that. Um, so, but we can always change our minds later anyway. So, okay. What do we have here? Uh, movies, we want to change all of that to rooms. So this is the collection. So it should be imported from, uh, actually I'm gonna change this to modules, not models because it, it does contain, oops, no, wrong, wrong, okay. Change the wrong one. Hmm. 
Oh, did I, did I do new folder? Okay. Um, sorry. Although it does contain models, like these are models, uh, the directory the name should be modules because it contains our modules as a you know JavaScript modules. Okay, seed. Do we need? Uh, we might need to seed something so we can keep this for now. Cool. Um, so let's go back here. We're importing rooms. So where do we import it from? Modules rooms collection. We're gonna import rooms item from rooms item. Um, .js. Well, actually, we don't even need the extension, I guess. Let, let's go 100% uh, modern JavaScript style and just get drop the extension. And then rooms new form. Cool. Um, now we have to use these somewhere. So here, rooms new form. Collection rooms, rooms item fragment. And here, rooms list. Can probably get rid of some of these comments because uh, they're left over from the original movies example. Um, change it here as well. And all that might be scaffolded as well in the future. I think that would be pretty cool. Again, if you're uh, watching this, just leave me a quick comment in Twitch chat so I can say hello. OK, um, looking good. Let's do the same thing for the rooms item component. We'll also get rid of this. Um, so modules, rooms, collection, uh, rooms, edit form, rooms, item. So this will be a room. Uh, this doesn't change. Let's get rid of this. Now um, let's go back to our schema to see our um, our property. So we have name, best number, guests number. Okay, so our uh, rooms option mutation edit check current user room. Cool, edit room. Okay, uh, so we did this one already. Uh, the edit form, so this should also be rooms again, rooms everywhere. For consistency's sake, let's remove the extension here as well. Okay, and then export default rooms, edit form. Uh, did I do the export here? No. And then last one. So this is the boring part of any new project where you have to, um, you know, just go through uh, basic stuff like this. I'm going to make uh, do a quick search for the word movies to see if I, uh, oh yeah, here. Almost done, pretty sure. And then here as well. Okay, cool. Now let's see. Um, 
Okay. Let's go back to our route. So we're pointing to uh, rooms list. And uh, in this case, so we're using the uh, import, you know, strategy. So we'll actually import the component. Um, so go back one level. And then since we are importing a component, it should be component and not component name. OK. So this sh this might work. Let's see. So while we're waiting for uh, everything to load, I had this idea actually. So you know how you have these uh, smart forms that will automatically display all the the content. Uh, all the, the form contents and so on. W why not do the same thing for displaying um, actual content? So not when you're editing or creating a document, but just displaying a, a document. In other words, instead of uh, writing out room.name, room.best number, um, we could make a component that just displays a room and does its best to uh, guess how to display each field based on their type and so on. So. Um, I think that should be possible, right? So I was thinking I'd call it a card. And um, so let, let's just uh, copy this as a start. Uh, so I don't think it needs any of that. And so it could be something like um, what, what would be the props? So the collection, because we probably need to access the schema and then the document. And then do a bunch of logic. And we'll probably have a card item. Component as well. And so what will we return? Probably a div. Um, so actually, I'm going to use the class names utility. Um, to do this. So card, and then we'll give you give it the name of uh, of a collection, so um, something like that. And so that then, uh, what do we do? I guess for now, uh, let's loop over every field of the document. So this will be um, hmm. Yeah, I guess. Well, I guess key is a reserved uh, um, so I, I think those are the, the arguments for map might be wrong anyway um, so what do we have here probably just um, Uh, I guess value would be a better name. Pr 
probably we want a two string this because it might be basically anything and then um, import this okay so let's go back to our uh, app for now can close this huh, so it looks like it might be stuck on something and saying cannot find module okay I made a typo uh, let's go back here index uh, rooms wait where was this coming from Oh, in routes, okay. Yes. So I'm just gonna stop this. Okay. Now let's try again. And um, yeah, going back to our card component. So that should work, right? That should just display the document for now, looping over each field. Um, let, let me check how map works exactly. Uh, yeah, current value index. All right. Oh, so there's no key. Um, no, I guess I'm, I'm mixing it up with the underscore map, which works a bit differently. Looks like the stream is uh, slowing down my computer, um, which is a bummer, but so wait, let, let's see. Um, oh, okay, so value and key, there's no, okay. So let, let's do this instead. Um, oh, actually, we don't need that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we haven't defined our fragments yet, so let's do that actually. Um, so what do we want from this? We want the name, we want the rooms number and the guests number. And yeah, we are already importing this, so that's all good. Okay, um, cannot query field rooms number. Oh, did, oh, sorry, it was bed, bed's number, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we got there. Uh, 
Ah, okay. So, there's probably a component that I forgot to export. So, um, let's, let's go back here, rooms list, is it exported, uh, yeah, and then we have rooms new form, these all seem to be exported, um, there's something wrong, wrong in rooms list, what could that be, let's do right fragment name I, I'm just gonna remove this for now see if it uh, see if it loads in react you don't get a ton of information uh, about component errors sometimes at least you know maybe there's a way but uh, the way I, I'm set up right now it just kind of tells me which component has a problem, but it doesn't tell me where the error is, so sometimes you just need to um, remove things until it works, and then go back from there. Uh, another thing that could happen it might be the uh, it might be the higher order components I'm also gonna also oh, this should work because I copied it from the movies example I'm sorry for everything being so slow um I might need to, um, yeah, quit some stuff. You know what, let me pause the stream for a second and uh, I'll come back once uh, it's running a little bit better. <laughs> 